Hello motherfuckers, I hope y'all are good today. I just wanted to share a little story that happened to me and my bae a couple weeks ago. It isn't a funny story. I know y'all think I'm always about farts and shit and all that shit, which I am. But that's not what this video is about. I mean, it is about shitty people, but not farts. So, um, a couple weeks ago, me and my wonderful bae who I love so much, I love you, baby. We were at the mall, uh, particularly at Sears, which seems like a safe place. We were on the escalator. Um, going upwards and we were just like giving each other a little kiss. It wasn't like a make out session But I am all for PDA. So sorry if you're not but I, th I think PDA is great Like why the fuck not kiss someone you love? I see this um angry looking guy out of the corner of my eye older man Looking kind of homeless not judging homeless people, but he honestly looked homeless. He was on the other escalator He was going down I think and we were going up so we were here he was there. And then we hear this guy screaming to the top of his lungs, saying things like, Idiot! Man! No kiss man! Is that even English? I don't know. And then he said, um, go find a woman to kiss, or some shit like that. And he was just screaming to the top of his lungs on a Sears escalator because we were kissing. Okay, I'm just glad he was on that escalator and I was on this one with my bae safely apart because I don't know what it would have happened because he seemed so like angry he was just screaming and screaming and screaming and like I just saw hate in his eyes and he kept screaming as he went like all the way down the fucking escalator it was a very scary moment for us and I was just like BB let's go let's just let's just go and we just went up the escalator and just left like I honestly felt like I was being treated like an animal me and my boyfriend were like being treated like animals and I don't know what else he said I couldn't really understand him that well but that's what I heard him say it was very traumatizing for us because it was like we didn't feel safe if we could do it again I think that we would have told someone maybe like one of the store workers maybe like a security at the mall someone justice has to be brought to that it wasn't a physical attack but it was a verbal attack we were like kind of freaked out for like a couple hours after that because we were just like what just happened it was just so demeaning and it's like it's not how humans should be treated maybe if they did something bad but we didn't we didn't do anything fucking bad my boyfriend is the best person I've ever met he has the biggest heart in the world and we shouldn't be treated like that no gay person should be treated like that because honestly we are some strong ass motherfuckers so we deserve a lot of respect because it takes a lot of bravery to live in this world as an openly gay person because there's still so much hate people like that should just eat my shit Smell my anus, ain't eat my shit. I know a lot of you guys are pro-gay, which I love you guys who are pro-gay. You guys are my faves. You guys are my motherfuckers. I love you so much. But there's some people that are like, oh my gosh, I love Timmy. I love his videos. Oh my gosh, but he's gay. I mean, like, I still love his videos, but like, he's gay. <laughs> Motherfuckers, why does it matter? All of you people that think like that are on this man's side. The one that verbally attacked us, you are on his side. And I think you should be a nicer, more open-minded person because do you really want to be known as that like hateful person that like doesn't accept people? Do you though? Do you want to though? Do you want to be known like that? Probably not. So um, my advice to you is just to be more open. Even if your Bible says that it's wrong, different religions say that it's wrong, just try to have an open-mindedness about gay people because a lot of religions say a lot of things are wrong and y'all still do them. And so all I'm saying is just try to be a nicer, open-minded person because it's just gonna help the world. And also don't be like that guy who probably smelled like dirty ass pussy. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit more serious than usual, but thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you to everyone that supports me and my fellow gay humans. I love you so much. I'll see you guys next video. Oh, bo -bo. Try to be a nicer, open-minded person because it's just gonna help the world.